Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 17 E notes on unfamiliar functions. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can find the x-intercepts, y-intercepts, local minimums and maximums, turning points, domain range, and graph more complex functions. All right, so let's jump straight into an example. And so here is our function. You want to imagine all this here is basically just saying y equals. So we got y equals 3 to the power of sine x minus 1 from negative 30 to 390. Okay, And then we're going to determine the turning points. And uh, again, the turning point is basically a minimum or a maximum. It's whenever the, the graph stops going up and starts going down, or when the graph stops going down and starts going up. Okay, Figure out the y-intercepts. Um, specify the range from negative 30 to 390, and then we're going to determine the period and the amplitude, and then also sketch a graph. All right, so let's use our graphing calculator to figure that out. We're going to go to the y equals, and then we're going to enter 3 to the power of sine x. I'd suggest putting that in parentheses just to make sure that it knows that the sine x, the whole entire sine x is the power. And then go back down and subtract 1. Okay, and our window it tells us right here we're going to go from negative 30 to positive 390. So there's negative 30, there's our 390 for our max, and our x scale, let's leave at 90 degrees. Okay, uh, We have no idea how tall, how high, or how low this thing's going to go, but we do know it's, a, like it's got some sine curve going on in there, so we probably don't have to make it very big. So I'm going to go with negative 5 and 5. All right, We graph it, and there's our graph. So first thing we're going to do is determine the value of any turning point. So basically we're going to find this maximum and we're going to find that minimum. All right, so go into second, calculate, maximum, and let's find this thing. Enter, get to the right of the maximum and enter, and then guess. Sure, why not? And we get 90.00007, which means 90 degrees and 2. All right, so we've got... 90 degrees at a height of 2 and this is our max and we're also going to have a minimum and let's figure out where that's going to be all right second calculate minimum and then let's scroll this thing over Enter, and then we're going to go over to the make sure that we get to the right of the minimum Enter, enter, and we get 269.9999, which is 270, and then negative 0.667, which is negative two-thirds. So let's see, we've got 270 and negative two-thirds is our minimum. All right, determine the y-intercepts. I don't know why it says intercepts, because if there was more than one y-intercept, then it would not be a function, huh? So it's just got to be determined the y-intercept. So, um, it's fairly clear from the graph here that the y-intercept is going to be at zero, but let's just say it wasn't clear as to where it was, so let's figure out how to calculate that. So we would do, go to calculate, and then our easiest way is just to do value, and we know if we're looking for the y-intercept, x has to equal zero, right? So when x equals zero, y equals zero. So our y-intercept is at y equals zero, okay? Specify the range from negative 30 to 390. So the range, remember, is um, how high or how, how high and how low this will go. So it's basically going to be from the top to the bottom. Hey, guess what? We already figured that out. Um, it goes up to 2 and down to negative 2 thirds. So we can say that our range is, um, let's start with the negative 1. Let's go from negative 2 thirds to 2 is our range. Okay, And next we are going to determine the period and the amplitude. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the period here is how long it takes it to repeat. And it starts repeating here after 90, 180, 270, 360. So our period is going to be 360 degrees. So to figure out our amplitude, we just figure out, again, the take half the distance from the 
top to the bottom. So it's basically whatever half of our range is, right? Okay, so let's do that. Let's do 2 minus negative 2 thirds all over 2. Okay, so let's see. Let's use this. 2 plus 2 thirds. This, there's our 2 and 2 thirds, and we divide that by 2, and we're going to get 1 and a third. 1 and, oops, 1 and 1 third is the amplitude. And then there's our period 360, oops, 360 degrees. Okay, and then the last piece here is to sketch. There we go. So we're just going to sketch a quick graph of this thing here using all of the lovely information that we have here. All right, so um, let's see. First thing, let's put down, let's see. We can put our maximums and minimums y-intercepts, so we know that the y-intercept's at zero, so there's a point there. We know that our max is at 90 degrees, and we're up at two. Okay, Our minimum was at 270 degrees, and it's at negative two-thirds, so that's about right there. All right, And then it goes back through here at 360. And let's see, period was 360. So I think we're good to go, right? So we can just kind of sketch a graph in here. It's going to go back through at 180, kind of flattens out, oops, flattens out a little bit, and then comes back up through 360, and we're done. All right? So you should now be able to say, I can find x-intercepts, y-intercepts, local minimums and maximums, turning points, domain range, and graph more complex functions. All right, if you have any questions, please ask. Thanks.